Hi Libras, welcome to the channel. I am the Sag Moon Diva. If you are new, if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And on this channel, I do love relationship and sex spreads. And I decided to add another layer to it. I created this box of love. And in here are some notes that I intuitively thought of and put in here to kind of add some more depth to the readings. So I'm going to shake it up. And we're going to get started. Let's see, what do the messages have to say today about you and your person? What does the messages have to say today about you and your person? The only one. This person wants to let you know you're the only one for them. Oh, wow. No one compares to you. My God, Libra. Look, I don't want to jump into it too quick because every time I do that, something goes left. <laughs> we have to make sure it's not the narcissist hiding in here. Oh, it says no coming back from this. I wonder what that could be about. Motivation. Mm. You motivated this person in some way. I wonder what way that is. Let's see. It says, oh, anytime, any place. Okay, Libras, you can put it on somebody out there. They want it anytime, they want it any place. So let's go ahead and grab the <clears throat> starter tarot to kind of get more in depth on these messages. Please give me more clarification. Give me more clarification into the Libra and their person. Somebody's coming back. We got the Eight of Wands. Yeah, somebody is deaf. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to give you guys the overall for this reading. So the overall for this reading is the temperance in reverse. Okay. There's been a lot of discord. There's been a lot of uh, disappointment, hostility. Oh, some conflict has definitely been going on. You two have had an inability in the past to work with each other. Um, you have a difficulty in understanding each other. And um, one of you is a is a loner. One of you is a loner. I'm, I'm, kidding. I'm picking up that it's you. Uh, usually air signs tend to be loners. And um, yeah, there's definitely been some conflict and, and, and discord in the past. So, um, but like I said, this is the card indicating that this person is definitely going to be returning to you and they are going to come back quickly okay this person is going to make some swift moves towards you you could be dealing with the fire sign could be dealing with the sagittarius you could be dealing with a leo or an aries but this person is definitely going to be making a move towards you okay and hmm, let's see oh there's been a lot of arguments uh for some of you your person has been very petty Maybe the two of you have been petty towards each other. There's been a lot of pettiness that's been taking place. Um, a lot of arguments. Once again, you guys have argued a lot, okay? Just going back and bickering back and forth about everything, okay? You have the Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you two definitely have uh, difficulty in communication. And um, you have a weakness for this person, though. Um, you have a weakness for this person or you could have a weakness for this person and it get, but it gets on your nerves that this person can be very petty which causes a lot of the arguments um there was definitely a third party situation that has taken place here um i don't not, wait i don't know I'm not so sure yet about this third party. I think this is more so having to do with the delay, having to wait, okay, um, to wait on a decision between the two of you. It seems like it's been taking forever um, for the two of you to uh, come back together. That could be the issue that you're having. Right now, I'm not picking up third party in this situation at all. But um, you're definitely expecting there to be some um, 
difficulties here like you know that if this person comes back you're afraid that if this person come back it's still going to be a lot of anger it's still going to be a lot of trouble it's still going to be a lot of fighting so you're unsure that if you like do i want this person back but if they come back and they come back the same person are we going to be arguing all the time like we used to yeah this is really bothering you but you have such a weakness for this person this person could be a fire sign it could be an air sign or they could be water or they could have a mix of all of these in the chart um for some it could be a leo but you definitely have a weakness for this person. A lack of willpower when it comes to this person. This has been coming up in a lot of readings lately, okay, with the magician in reverse. Okay, some of you out there are just like, oh, I want to get rid of them, but it's some about them. See? Mm-hmm. Both of y'all is hooked. Anytime, any place. This, <laughs> this is why you're so weak for them. Mm-hmm. This is why you're so weak for them. But this person, this is why this motivation came up, okay? This person is definitely motivated, okay, to come back towards you. And they're going to make those moves, baby. This person is coming back. And they're coming back to give you that one. Or to come get some of that one, okay? <laughs> Ooh, they're coming back. Yeah, you definitely could be dealing with an air sign. You got the Knight of Swords here. This person is going to be coming back with some communication that is the second sign that this person is returning okay oh and this person wants to offer you the ten of cups okay so this person wants to offer you love okay this person wants to offer you um like this joy this pleasure and everything this is what this person sees with you if you have a family this person may want their family back okay if you were already in a relationship and you had kids or you were married this person wants to bring it back or this person may want to start a family with you Okay. This person could have codependency issues. This could have been one of the things that was a problem in your relationship. You have the uh, page of cups in reverse. Yeah, this person has a susceptibility to... Um, to I don't know. It's like they fall into stuff. Or you may hear them say, I don't know, I just, I, I just, this just happened. I don't know, it just happened. It's like, you literally hear this person saying, I don't, it just happened. I didn't, I didn't mean to do this. I didn't mean to do that. Like they have like a lot of nervous energy. Could be a Gemini, okay, with that nervous energy. Um, in the past, this person was very unreliable. Very frustrated, very fickle person. And they knew this. They knew that they had this, um... And they, they know that this is what causes separation. They really do. They have they have definitely, um, they know where their faults are, okay? You got the lover's card here in reverse, okay? They know that they were the reason or the fault for this breakup, okay? It was from their habits, their situations, things that they've done. Um, but, of course, this is a general reading. It could be anything that has caused this. But they are gaining the strength, okay? They're definitely gaining the strength to rush into the unknown, Okay, they want to come back. They want to see, you know what, I'm going to take my chance. I'm going to see what happened. Hopefully a ten of cups comes out of this situation. But, <laughs> and they're definitely ready to come back in and seduce you, okay? Oh, wow. This person, I wonder if they've always been like this, but it seems like this person has a lot of issues with money, money problems. Never seem to have enough of it. Or if they do get it, it always leaves their hands quickly. Um, they can become preoccupied very easily. Like I said, nervous energy. Maybe this person... Um, God, what is it? Oh, slow, when they have a slow attention span, short attention span. Uh, I can't think of it right now. If you can think of it, please comment it below. But this person... They don't sit still. And because they don't sit still, they cause a lot of sloppiness. They cause a lot of mistakes by not just sitting down, sitting still, just really taking in what people tell them, like hard time taking advice, hard time sitting still. It's like making mistakes, making mistakes, making mistakes. But in a way, it's like they don't even mean it. It's just their energy their personality okay this person has this person is an adult but they have childlike ways about them maybe you feel that they're like childish or or they need to develop in certain ways yeah mm. okay yeah it just feels like they need to grow up in certain ways because this person 
they miss this. They miss that the freedom of expression, their emotions with you. They miss that that love and that trust and support that they had from you. And in this, they they just they're not liking the separation at all. They're like, listen, I've I've waited long enough. It's killing me. I don't know about you. And this person could be an older person, okay, that you're dealing with. Could be an older fire sign that you're dealing with. Um, mm. Yeah, definitely could be an older sign that you're dealing with. Or you could be the one that is more mature in this relationship. I'm definitely getting the sign. You're the more mature one. And you are tired of everything falling on you. Falling on your shoulders with this person. As much as you love them, they... It felt like you were taking care of another child. Okay. Um, let's see what the romance angels have for you guys. Please give me some messages for the Libra and their person. Please give me some messages for the Libra and their person. That's too many. Way too many. Please give me more information on the Libra and their person. Okay, and I'm going to do one card here for the um, a Lover's Oracle, if I can get it out of here. There we go. <laughs> okay, one card from the Lover's Oracle, please. One card from the Lover's Oracle, please. Ah, okay, we'll take the one that just decided to pop out. It says, wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. This came out in somebody else's reading. I can't recall. But um, whatever the case may be, if you choose to get back with this person, uh, you need to wait a while. Maybe take your time with them. Okay. Allow the nature to take its course to see whether or not uh, this person matures. Okay. See whether or not this person changes. Okay. Take that time. And if for a while you feel frustrated that this person is still not moving, this relationship is still not moving, then you have the option, the choice to move on. Okay. Don't waste your time with someone if you're not getting all your needs met. Okay. All right. One or both of you need to heal some family issues. Okay? Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. One or more of you may have some difficulties with your parents. Maybe um, they didn't give a, they gave more money than they gave love or it could have been the opposite. Um, some type of thing where they just raised you in a way in which um, I, I think this is for your person. They don't know how to handle real world grown up problems and they don't really know how to, it's just I feel as if this person just wasn't raised in the right direction to know how to deal with problems to know how to have mature conversations with a person to work things out to know how to sustain and build a relationship so this person needs a lot of patience okay if you have that patience then this is a person for you if not just let them go and find themselves, okay? And you go and you find someone better suited. But this person definitely has some issues that they need to work out in order for this relationship to work. And it's going to take patience. It says, calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. This person could be your soulmate. It just depends on whether or not you're willing to wait it out and see okay or it could be somebody else but for me i feel as if um if you give this person a chance i do believe that they are going to show you and prove to you that they are more than what they were in the past but they have to get past those issues from the past and it says this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek there it is definitely could be your person just patience. Question is, are you willing to wait? But I do know one thing. This person definitely feels that no one compares to you. And that you're the only one that they want to be with. And you have to understand that whatever decision you make, there is no coming back from this. Okay? You're either going to stay with this person and make it work, or you're going to walk away. Don't leave this lingering, okay? Don't leave this person lingering because you do have their heart, okay? So be very gentle with it, Libras. Be very gentle. 
If you guys enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and comment down below your experiences on whether or not this video resonated with you. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye, Libras!